Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla, and here we go. It is the last video of October, other than tomorrow, I'll be uploading a sketchbook tour of this entire Inktober doodles. I think I'm not going to record the last video, which is crawl, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do for that yet. Not exactly sure, that's probably why I didn't go ahead and film it, but you know it's for tomorrow, so I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, here we go. This is it. I have officially filled up this entire sketchbook. It yeah, was after, after Rapunzel think. and Flynn, I had to move on to watercolor paper or Bristol board paper. I think I mostly just stayed with watercolor paper just because I was already working with watercolor and ink, so that's the kind of paper that I stuck with. So, I wanted to do another fun story time with you guys about... I know that I said that I, did, I went part-time at my job because I look, worked at a, at a local um, arts and crafts store. Yes, it's one of the big name brands. Not gonna drop any names. <laughs> but it was... It was the most... It wasn't the most pleasant time of my life, I gotta say. And, you know, it kind of sucks because it's all, like, based on management. And to be honest, because before I got married, I worked at one of these retail stores that was local, and I loved it. It was a great part-time job. I needed extra money to get ready for me getting married. I got to pay for a couple of things that my parents didn't have to pay for. So it was nice just to have a, a spare dollar here and there. And that's why I mostly got my part-time job. Anyways, I moved, got married, moved from North Carolina to Indiana, and I started at this store at, from the ground up. Like, I was there at the store set up and everything, and I gotta say, it's it's been tough, but under the management, it's been the most unpleasant times of my life. And, you know, anybody who works retail, if you work retail with me, then you know how difficult it is, especially after we went on quarantine and lockdown. My state, after that, we opened up really fast and the people that were coming in after quarantine were super unpleasant. I mean, like, customers. And the management, of course, never stopped being unpleasant. Uh, I mean, you know, I so I kept going and then I think I told a told you guys about in this video that I was gonna focus on my art and I was a full-timer then I went part-time and then I just realized I was just getting worse and worse and just it what it's just that I my stress and my nerves and anxiety peaked at an all-time high I mean it was just terrible I I am in the worst physical and not mentally I'm doing much better now that I've I've actually quit <laughs> but physically I'm in the worst shape of my life and it was just all from that the anxiety and stress because I come home after eight o'clock and after we closed and I would go and eat dinner which is um I, I remember reading somewhere that you're scientifically you're not supposed to eat past nine and that's when i usually ate my dinner and so that was just ugh, it was not fun but yeah i quit my job because i want to work on being a freelance artist and that's what i've been doing for the last yeah month it's been a, about a month almost two months I'm really happy much much better anxiety is gone other than what's going on with COVID and the world and all the wonderful politics in the world uh, the world <laughs> other than what's going on with the world I'd say that I, my anxiety has gone down dramatically even Steven has said I have been a much happier person I haven't like I haven't been like trying to pick fights or anything or, or stuff. I've just been mentally a much better person and I'm taking this time to like work on my art and get my body back in shape because dang, got a lot of poundage, quarantine, quarantine 10, <laughs> gotta get it off. But yeah, I've been trying to go work out of the gym, eat better. 
um, be more healthy, conscious. Like, I just kind of threw it out because I thought, geez, I'm walking about five miles a day. Hopefully, I can just maintain my weight. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, you know, I just realized that even though I said I'm not going to say the name of the chain of art stores I was working for, there's only so many in America. And um, <laughs> also, everybody who probably follows me on Instagram knows exactly where I worked. So... But I'm still not gonna say. You guys can go do your own research if you really care. But everything's okay, and that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about this. I took a huge leap of faith, and I actually reopened my Etsy store. I'm getting ready to like put on like custom commission listings. I, I know I have tons of listings on my Etsy store. If you don't know that about my Etsy store, it's Dramatic Parrot. Do all the sales through there. Um, I ship to United States and United Kingdom and I'm doing I'm getting ready to like make some custom ornaments and then offer like custom ornaments so you know I'm trying and of course every single one of these inktober drawings are gonna be for sale on my Etsy store so as soon as I'm done with the sketchbook tour and filming it I'm gonna rip them all out of the book and throw them right up on top of my Etsy store so they're gonna be really cheap I was thinking like $15 a drawing so I'm a pretty cheap like artist <laughs> when I say I'm cheap I, I like I went into a local bakery shop and it's like an awesome gluten-free all gluten-free stuff and you know there's some artists in there that hang up their art and it's some of it is really good but then there's like some scary looking things in there and they were asking for like $500 for a painting that's four by six and I was like holy crap are you Van Gogh like Descendant? What's going on? Van Gogh? No. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm a cheap, I'm a cheap artist when it comes to selling my art. Um, so I, cause I think I, I like to consider that most of my buyers are, you know, parents buying stuff for kids or it is kids. And, you know, sometimes I know a lot of kids have used their allowance money to buy stuff for my store. So that's why I like to keep those I like to keep you guys in mind <laughs> but yeah um so that's the whole spiel but I wanted to also take a moment to say if you are an artist I mean right now things are tough because of COVID and everything and the world's tough and we don't know exactly what's going to happen to our world by 2021 if we even escape all this mess so but if you were stuck in a situation like I was I called that store my jail cell and it was fluorescent lighting jail cell and you know it's not the chain that was the problem it wasn't the store chain it wasn't the art retail store chain that was my problem it was the management in that individual store because managements are it, it, it makes a world of difference and when you are grown up and you have your own job and you get a job you will realize how important management is and it takes good leaders to keep their employees like okay, like make sure they're okay, make sure they're in good spirits instead of intimidating them constantly. So <laughs> I'm done venting. But anyways, if you are stuck, get out of it. Do not let your job be your jail cell because it was killing my creativity and my art. So if you're stuck, get out of it. Chase your dreams, take a leap of faith. And you know, I'm gonna give this a try. If it doesn't work out, it's okay. I'll go get another job somewhere else. I don't know yet. <laughs> when COVID's over, hopefully back in theater. Who knows? With film, who knows? Whenever the world gets set back to normal, if we ever get there. But yeah, here we go. This is the last little bit of time-lapse videos. I will come back with a fun sketchbook tour of all these Inktober drawings, and yeah. Happy Halloween! Thanks for watching!